Hello everyone, this is your heart message of the week and I wanted to share a little bit about um, little traumas and how it may be affecting you. This is um, important for those of you who feel that you're stuck in negative patterns or repeating patterns and um, you feel that you had a good you know, upbringing and that you weren't you know, traumatized as a child and, and you, know, you have good relationships with your parents. And I see this a lot. So basically, what you have to understand is that a trauma is not necessarily physical. Um, it can also be mental and emotional. Um, and it can be something that you have witnessed as well. And so, for example, it can be maybe you were constantly criticized as a child. And I actually had a client like this who was constantly criticized um, by his father and um, in the end he started repeating the the pattern um, and, and by the way he had a good good upbringing went to a good school and thought he had a good relationship you know with his father and he actually started to repeat the pattern much later on in life with um, his boss and every boss that he had he would repeat the same pattern where he was constantly you know criticized and basically he was constantly seeking approval and he became an overachiever and what happened is he he was left with this feeling of never feeling good enough um, and basically what you need to understand is if you let's say let's take this as an example if you were constantly criticized then you know whether it was your father mother or some authority figure what they're doing is they're chipping away at your self-esteem you know little by little they're just chipping away at your self self-esteem and um, of course you're not going to feel good enough and as a child you're just developing your self-esteem you're just developing your sense of you know who you are and if you're not even allowed to to be to express that then that's going to have a big impact on you and you're going to feel that you're not loved for who you are, that you have to do something in order to be loved, that you have to um, you know, achieve a certain thing in order to be good enough. And that was basically the pattern that he repeated. And um, another example I will share is that I had a client, this was a long time ago, I did a reading for her, she came to me because she said she had um, creative blocks and she was you know, a creative, an artist, and actually, when I did the reading, I, ha I saw no creative blocks. I actually saw that she was super creative. In fact, you know, too creative, if, if that's even a thing. But what I did see was that the energy would trickle down and it was stuck in her solar plexus. And the solar plexus is the chakra. Um, it's all about your sense of self-esteem, your sense of power and your you know, authority of yourself, basically. And then what I saw was a big hand pointing at her and, and I, what I heard is, you can't, you can't, you can't. So I, I asked her, I said, were you ever told that you can't do something, you know, as a child? And she said, my mother used to tell me this all the time on repeat. I wasn't allowed to do anything. So what had happened is it wasn't that she had a creative block or that she wasn't creative. It, it was um, she had internalized that internalized her mother's voice basically and created this programming that you can't, you can't, I can't. And um, this then became her belief. And again, it affected her self-esteem. And in both cases, you have to understand that this to a little child is trauma. So I want you to look beyond, you know, the physical and really um, start to dive into more the emotional well this is basically what I work with emotional trauma and um, go back and start to feel how you felt in those moments um, because often it is those moments that your little inner, inner child the wounded wounded child is, is stuck on because in those moments you felt either belittled or you felt um, unloved or you felt like you weren't good enough for who you are and those are the traumas that you need to sort of go back and work through and one of the, the excuses that I hear a lot is you know they did the best they could my parents did the best they could and this is so important for you to understand is 
if you have experienced these little traumas and you're using the excuse that you know they did the best that that they could this is just an excuse that you use to avoid feeling the depth of that pain of that little wounded child and every time you do that you're actually dismissing yourself and you are re-traumatizing yourself basically um, and, and, and um, dismissing your own wounds and if you do that you're not going to heal and yes maybe they did do the best that they could with their level of awareness but obviously whatever they did to whether it was good or bad or intentional or not you what you need to understand is that is still a wound for you <laughs> and um, so do your best not to use that because um, I just see a lot of people using this term and all they're doing is they're just re-traumatizing themselves and using that as a way to avoid feeling the depth of their wound, of their pain. So anyway, sorry if that was a little bit of a ramble. I hope that makes sense. That's it for today. Bye for now.